Well, it is one of the most popular ingredients in stores these days, helping people eat low carb. Odds are you've seen cauliflower rice on the shelf, but do you know how to use it the right way? Here with two ways to use cauliflower rice. Ladies and gentlemen, please get up for Chef Daniel Green, everybody. Okay. Welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me, Jason. Okay, now you're a, you're an expert. You're you're a great chef, but your your speciality is healthy eating. Yes. So, what is the benefit? What's the true benefit of using cauliflower and all this stuff? Uh, well, you know, I've always followed trends. When you know, I follow healthy eating, I've written books from everywhere when it was all about low fat, but then it became all about low carb. Um, having carbs, I find quite. Dangerous because once I start with the bread and the potatoes, I don't it's stop. It's done. Yeah. So cauliflower is a brilliant way to bring the carbs down and come up with some great ways to cook it. So this is a breakfast I make all the time. Okay. Now I've actually this is a breakfast item. A of breakfast. Cauliflower. I've actually microwaved this bag about half the bag. Okay. I microwaved it so it's actually cooked. And I've got a nice high heat here okay. on a non-stick pan, and I'm going to make a little pancake. And I put a bit of egg. That's it. Just a bit of egg. A cauliflower it, pancake. It, it's amazing. It comes out really good. You know, a lot of people think they're always compromising when they're healthy. I don't think so on this dish. I think it's a brilliant breakfast. What we're going to do is we're going to fry this. Okay. We are going to turn it up a bit. Okay. I've got some salmon and some avocado, so you've got some good fats there that will fill you up, all protein, some fat-free sour cream, and then we're going to make a brilliant breakfast. Now, it might not be the easiest to make every day when we think about just pouring in some cereal to a bowl, but if you try this on the weekends, you'll love it. I bet you make it more often than that. Yeah, I can see little, little Timmy looking at this going, why is that bumpy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is that pancake bumpy? Okay. Well, um... But I, you know what smells? I gotta tell you, it, it smells good. You know, and you'll see the color. It actually does come out really well. So this is such a big trend at the moment, so you're actually buying it rice. Now, about a year ago, two years ago, you had to do it yourself. Yeah. It's like too much trouble. And most stores, now you're right, I see it now everywhere. Everywhere. It, it's I mean, not just the brand name. You can go to anywhere from the specialty whole, uh, grocery stores to like the lowest of lowest uh, grocery stores that will have it. So, you know, kind of the budget ones too. So look at this. You ready? Yeah. Give it a little bit of a turn. Okay. Look at that color. Oh, look at that. Okay. Not so bad. No. <laughs> Maybe little Timmy would eat that. I mean, yeah. Um, in a minute, I'm just going to top it up again with a kind of layer it up and then I put an egg on it. So a little bit of a, either a poached egg or a fried egg. Okay. And then you cut into it. It's a really beautiful breakfast. You know what? You, uh, you have me on this. I could do that. It's really not bad. Um, then we made a pizza as well. Okay. Now, I will tell you, I tried doing this I have twice now in my home and I never make it right. It, 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 so. Tell me how to do this with a pizza. Well, what you do need in here is some cheese to bind it. So I microwaved it the same way. Okay. Then I put in some cheese. Okay. Then I put it on a pan ready to go under the grill. I put it under the grill for about three, four minutes. Then I put on the pizza topping. Then I put on some olives and a little bit more cheese. Now that has got fat, but it's almost carb free. Now, unfortunately, it's cold. Yeah, yeah. I there is a reason for that. <laughs> there is a reason. There's a reason why? You don't have an oven. Oh, we don't have an oven. <laughs> <laughs> So, Jason, when you have an oven, I, I will I come like, back and I'll... <laughs> I thought Vanessa Williams was back. I was like, what's he pointing to? I was like, what's Daniel pointing to? Is there a surprise guest back here? Yeah, no. When, okay. when, when you have the oven, I will yeah. come back and I'll cook it properly. <laughs> Let me tell you, you will be waiting a long time. <laughs> okay, another secret? Yeah. You don't even have a microwave. I did this at home. Do we don't? <laughs> oh, we do. We do back there. You know where all that was? It's where the audience is right now. Oh. <laughs> got... No one yeah. told me. Yeah, okay. We like the people better than the microwave. Are you ready, yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready for this. Okay. Oh. So you break that open. Okay, Dan, I gotta tell you. That is really pretty. Yeah. May I may I uh, may absolutely. Try a little bit yeah, of that? Please okay. do. Because I am a little picky, so we'll see. But this really does look good. Let me just get this part. The pancake really is good. It's really good. It is good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I apologize. I'm sorry. I sounded like Mikey. You know, like he likes it. He really likes it. Yeah. What are before we go? Yeah. I know what I did. What are 
common mistakes people do when using cauliflower? I think I know one of them. Okay, well, I would say the one thing is they don't cook it through properly, yeah. and then it comes out crunchy and not nice. So you want to make sure you do microwave it, so it doesn't matter how long it goes in the pan, it's already cooked anyway. But, you know, again, people always think they're going to compromise when they're being healthy. I always want to come up with innovative ideas, how you can have really good food, tasty food. And, yes, you're going to make a few tweaks. If you have pizza once a week and you don't have any weight issues, have the pizza once a week. But for most of us... We're conscious, yeah. and there's a good way to have it more often. Exactly. I also heard that uh, in some recipes, <laughs> not drying it off can be a, uh, for some recipes, you have to uh, put paper towel to get the moisture out I to didn't, help bind. You I didn't, didn't know, know that? I didn't know that one. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even have to look behind me for that. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Chef Daniel oh, Green, everybody. Thank you. We're going to post this. Thank you, Martin. We're going to post. We're going to post this whole segment on our Facebook page. Just search Jason Show TV. Like us, will you? And for more information on Daniel, go to televisioncookery.com. Right there at the bottom of your screen.